forecast for Saturday, June 1st. Okay, so welcome to June. We have a brand new energy forecast out there for your listening pleasure. Of course, we have major events coming at us here in June, and you're probably already feeling the shift in the energy. A lot of that is because the moon has shifted into Aries energy to help catapult us into June. We are going to be fast tracking a lot of choices and decisions and information and details here in the first part of June. And of course, time is picking up pressure is intensifying. We have a lot that we have to arrive at before Gemini season comes to an end in order for us to kind of lock in the new foundation of the tough love life lessons that we are going to be building upon as we move through that solstice energy. So I am going to recommend that you take advantage of all the resources that I've put out there, your zodiac forecast for the month, the e-guide, of course, for Gemini season. And again, take a listen to that extended energy forecast that I put out there for the month of June. So yes, we have the moon in Aries energy here all day, putting a pep in our step. Of course, we want to make moves. We want to see some action. We want to see some progress. And we're definitely craving a little bit more excitement. We're ready to take the initiative. We have a warrior type of spirit that we're working with, with the moon in Aries. We're definitely setting ourselves up for success as we dive into this brand new month. So there are 10 different aspects taking place here today. Eight of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Aries getting off to a great start here today with a sextile, beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy here to open up our minds, here to push the boundaries of our thoughts, of our opinions, of our beliefs, of our understandings. We're definitely feeling very optimistic, very confident when Jupiter is being aspected in a positive way. And of course, this fire energy from Aries, this air energy from Gemini, we can definitely pick up the pace. We can tap into creative life force energy, new imagination, new creative solving solutions. This is a time to really just kind of see where it is that we're amped up, excited, inspired to actually move on, to grow, to expand, to challenge what it is that we have been sitting in and of course see some progress in moving forward. The moon is then going to sextile another beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in Aquarius energy. So again, fire and air. This is spark. This is fire. This is flame. This is cultivating excitement and inspiration and passion and motivation to actually make a change. Pluto is the great transformer. He's retrograde, taking us on an inner journey, if you will, an inner analyzation, if you will, of what needs to change within us, how we see things, how we carry ourselves, how we make decisions. And this is definitely illuminating a particular part that we've been banging our head against a wall about and where it is now that we're actually seeing some options to free ourselves from that particular struggle. This is definitely going to empower us. We're feeling all of the good vibes. We're feeling that confidence. We're feeling that optimism. And we actually feel like we have a little more control, power, authority, not only over our thoughts, not only over our emotions, but over the opportunities that we're able to create for ourselves. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, in his rulership in this Aries energy, going to make a positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. So this is definitely a major shock to the central nervous system. This is like giving us some pep in our step. This is kind of triggering, I'm going to say a new rebellious type of mood and attitude for us to take action and make moves, for us to boss up and actually position ourselves on a new path to try something new, to really see where it is that again, the physical realm not allowing us as many moves to make as Mars would prefer. However, a shift in our thinking, a shift in our energy, a shift in the target in which we actually want to now reach and kind of progress ourselves towards, that is the major change, the major transformation that is currently taking place. This particular energy likely giving us a lot of insight, bringing in a lot of clarity on where it is again that a new path is definitely unfolding for us. 
The sun in Gemini energy going to make a positive interaction with Neptune, who of course is in his place of power in Pisces energy. This is a soft energy, a mystical energy. We're kind of tapping into a new level of compassion and empathy for the world, for the people around us. We're more likely to kind of give someone the benefit of the doubt as we were definitely not in the mood to do earlier in the week, it can definitely feel good to kind of restore our faith, restore our trust, if you will. We're starting to see the spiritual life lessons that we're currently in really pushing us into a new level of power. So this is going to be great for some aha moments, for some, I'm going to call it creative solutions, for a little bit of clarity, a little bit of intuitive insight, if you will, to actually show us the options, again, Gemini season, options that we now have available to us and where it is that we are starting to lean towards one path, one direction, one choice, one decision over the other. The moon in Aries going to then semi-square Uranus, the great awakener in this Taurus energy. So just as we were kind of building in this excitement, in this passion, in this motivation, in this clarity, suddenly something kind of hits us. We're hitting a roadblock of sorts, likely because the energy that we have coursing through our bodies right now want us to be out in the world doing a lot more than what it is that we're currently doing. And so the restlessness, the frustration, the slower pace that we have to be taking at this particular particular point in the transition kind of getting to us again Aries energy has ants in their pants the Taurus energy that Uranus is in needs us to slow down be deliberate very calculated with the moves with the energy that we are putting forth in taking action and making moves so this is going to create a little bit of a tension point some conflict within us because again the ants in our pants want us to move forward but again we're not being supported in making as many major moves as we would prefer to be making at this particular point in time. The moon in Aries going to sextile beautiful interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in Gemini energy. So again, we have some fire and air action. This is putting us in a beautiful situation to not only consider our head space, but to also consider our heart space. This new change of heart, this new change of self has new wants, new needs, new desires that we want to pursue. And right now we again are building in the excitement, in the passion, in the inspiration, in the motivation to actually pursue a new path. Maybe that means making some changes to routines. Maybe that means kind of opening up our heart, having some conversations in relationship dynamics to hopefully smooth things over. Maybe it's just percolating on different options and opportunities to expand our income. Whatever the case may be, very Venus rooted and emotionally charged, emotionally excited to actually jump into something new. The moon is then going to sextile the sun in Gemini. So again, fire and air. This is our, I'm going to say, aha moment of the day. The moon and the sun, anytime that they interact, there's a new awareness of what it is that we want, what we need, what we desire, what we're going through, what we're growing through, what we're supposed to be learning, and what we're supposed to be pursuing. And so this is going to be a major, I'm going to call it epiphany, that is going to kind of put us on a different path to do some research and exploration into new options. The moon is then I'm going to semi-square Mercury. Mercury is the ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, who's in Taurus energy at the moment, even though he's in his rulership over Gemini season. So the moon, our heart space, Mercury, our head space, they're not on the same page. And for good reason. The moon in Aries energy has a pep in our step, an excitement, a passion, a desire to move on, to take action, to kind of just see some progress. On the other hand, Mercury being in Taurus energy, a fixed earth sign, we have to go low and slow. We have plans that we need to review. We have options that we need to explore. And therefore, the tension is that emotionally speaking, we want to press fast forward. But mentally speaking, we have to kind of press pause for a second, get the lay of the land. So we're not really in alignment with our energies at this point in time because we're lacking a lot of clarity that of course this mercurial placement is going to need before we engage the physical body to take action and make moves that of course the moon in Aries would prefer that we're making now. 
The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. This is a major, major boss up in our mood, in our attitude. We understand the roles and responsibilities that we're now bossing up in in order to be the creator of our reality. We're making a major change, a major transformation, not only with the way we think, not only the way we feel, but in the path, in the direction that we're now wanting to walk. Pluto, again, bosses us up, gives us more power and control and authority, not only over our mental plane, but over our emotions, our overall inner realm energy, so that we can get the mind, the body, the soul in alignment, because of course we have to do that before we can gauge the physical body to take action and make moves out in the exterior realm. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Aries energy coming up to bumping into teaming up with the north node in Aries energy. This is a beautiful, beautiful alignment. This is a reset of sort, and it's giving us a little bit more perspective, more understanding on what we have to do to be better, to improve, to grow, to heal, to repair some situations that definitely popped off over the last couple of weeks. So this is gonna put us in a situation to realize that the path in which we are currently wanting to walk may actually require us to walk it alone. And if that is a fearful thought to you at this point in time, just understand that the North Node being on this Aries axis needs us to embrace our individuality, needs us to be more independent, needs us to be bold and brave and courageous enough to walk the path alone. We all have different soul missions. We all have different peaks of potential that our soul is able to actually align with. But a lot of the time we want to take other people with us. We may not have the encouragement, the support that we wish that we had, that we desire at this particular point, nor do we have the companion or partnership that we want to have in order to kind of enter into a new quest, into a new journey. This is gonna remove the fear and kind of boss us up. We are ready to do what needs to be done as long as it means that we get to move forward. We get to break away from the stagnancy of this present moment and what has been. We are now kind of rising to the challenge, even if it means that we have to stand there alone.